exceptions. I couldn't help noticing, however, in the aftermath of this atrocity, a rather unhealthy eagerness in some quarters to apportion blame by association, as if all critics of Islam are somehow complicit in this man's insanity. Well, that's very unfortunate, but given that the rules have now clearly been changed in this regard, I'll be very interested to see how many hate-preaching imams are blamed for the next Islamic atrocity. I actually see that statement, Pat, as a bit of a Freudian slip there. Because if you think about it, you are bitterly complaining, obviously. You seem to be somehow upset by any sort of indication, any sort of hint, suggestion that people like yourself, like Geert Wilders, like Thunderfoot, who have made these kind of polemic videos against Islam might be implicated in some way, might be associated in some way with what that lunatic did. And let me be the first one to make it very clear that I will not hold you, Thunderfoot, Geert Wilders or anybody like you personally responsible for what this man did. Certainly not directly and probably not even indirectly in any way, shape or form. So don't even go there. Don't erect this straw man right now claiming that you are somehow being blamed for this because I and hopefully many people who will listen to this and who think along the same lines as myself certainly are not going to be holding you personally responsible. But the Freudian slip the funny thing is, where you compared this, you said, you know, you pointed out that the rules have changed and then you were wondering how many hate-preaching imams would now be held responsible for atrocities committed in the name of Islam. Or, I'm paraphrasing there a little bit. And, obviously, subconsciously, you are displaying here a clear awareness of the parallels between your good self, the rhetoric that's being spouted by people like you, like Heat Wilders and like Thunderfoot, and, as you so eloquently put it, hate-preaching imams. Thank you, Pat, for at least acknowledging this point. But then, I would like to add to this as well, that if you're going to present us with an open goal, then I really have no choice but to kick the ball in. So here goes. Take it away. No one who criticizes Islam or multiculturalism is in any way responsible for this lunatic's actions, and the criticisms are still yeah. Yeah, yeah. What? Shut up. Is Silence. Yes. Except, of course, there's one person who is clearly responsible for this lunatic action. One person who is critical of Islam and multiculturalism who is responsible for this lunatic's action. And that is, of course, this lunatic himself. Now, I know it is a trite observation and it's an easy point to score. It's an easy point to score and I am not particularly proud of scoring this open goal. But on the other hand, it is something that needs to be pointed out because, you know, you are equally in your video presenting this universal statement no one who criticizes Islam and multiculturalism is responsible when, of course, clearly one person is. But other than just this trite observation, this obvious observation that this one person is clearly responsible for what he himself did, I have to observe that, and this relates back to your rhetoric, your polemic, the polemic of people like yourself, like Heert Wills, like Thunderfoot, and the results that we are seeing when those people who are lapping it all up who are allowing themselves to be whipped into a frenzy by your rhetoric, are commenting on your videos. Now you, and I do acknowledge this, don't get me wrong, I do acknowledge this and I do appreciate it, you yourself have clearly distanced yourself 
unequivocally from all this violence and hatred and that's good to hear but on the other hand it is clear that there are many people who are your fans fans of Geert Wilders and fans of Thunderfoot and who are lapping it all up who are drinking in the rhetoric who are getting lightheaded and euphoric with the whole you know the whole rage that's building up and who are clearly clearly of a slightly different disposition because time and again I see people making statements such as the only good Muslim is a dead Muslim and variations thereof I see clearly people comparing Muslims those 1.5 billion human beings that we share this planet with comparing them to pigs to excrement and to vermin with all the connotations that comes with what one does with vermin. So don't tell me that you are unaware your earlier Freudian slip is clearly indicating that you are aware of what your rhetoric is doing, what your polemic is doing. So no, you are not personally responsible for what this lunatic did but you are responsible for fostering this atmosphere of distrust, of hatred and of dehumanization that helps boys up and allows somebody like him to hang their sick ideologies onto and don't you ever deny it